Hello and welcome to the Nerdy Things with Brendan channel. Today we're continuing my Halo series and exploring the life of another member of Noble Team, George. George was born on the planet Reach in the year 2511. At the age of six, George was abducted and enrolled in the Spartan II program by Dr. Catherine Halsey. George trained under Chief Petty Officer Franklin Mendez. In the year 2525, now at the age of 14, George and the other children underwent augmentations to become Spartans. Many of these children died in the process, but George was among those who survived. For 27 years, George served as a faithful and skilled Spartan. By the year 2552, his skills were enough to get him assigned a noble team under the leadership of a fellow Spartan, Carter. George served as the heavy weapons specialist for Noble Team and was unique to the team as he was the only Spartan 2 on the team. Shortly after joining Noble Team, George and the rest of the team were sent to the planet Fumarole, which was being invaded by the Covenant. A Covenant battlecruiser would soon be landing in the capital city of Fumarole. Cat, the second in command of Noble Team, devised a plan to plant a bomb on the landing site of this battlecruiser, while the rest of Noble Team provided cover fire. While on our way to plant the bomb, a Covenant Banshee fired on Cat, exploding a nearby fuel rod cannon. This explosion cost Cat her arm and lost valuable time needed to deliver the bomb. Another member of Noble Team, Tom, decided to grab the bomb and plant it knowing the time lost in the explosion meant this was now a suicide mission. The mission was a success, but at the cost of Cat's arm and Tom's life. Cat and Carter both took Tom's death very hard and blamed themselves. Shortly afterwards, Noble Team was reassigned to George's homeworld reach. It was here Noble Team met the newest member of Noble Team and Tom's replacement, Spartan B-312, who went by the name Noble Six. Noble Team was tasked with investigating a communications blackout on Reach, where they realized the Covenant had infiltrated the planet Reach. After multiple encounters with small Covenant forces, Noble Team got word of an incoming Covenant supercarrier, the Long Night of Solace. This ship would deliver massive Covenant enemies that could turn the tide of the battle. This could very well determine the fate of the planet Reach. Cat came up with a plan to deliver a makeshift slip space bomb aboard the Long Night of Solace. After receiving approval from Colonel Holland, Noble Team made their way to a Saber research facility where Noble Six and George went into space to plant the bomb, while the rest of Noble Team fought off Covenant forces planet side. After fighting off multiple Covenant ships, Noble Six and George were able to deliver the bomb aboard the Long Night of Solace. During their fight, the bomb was damaged and now needed to be defused manually. George decided he would stay with the bomb and be the one to defuse it, allowing Noble Six to escape. George hoped this sacrifice would be enough to save his homeworld reach. After George's death, Noble Six returned planet side and met up with Noble Team and told him about George's sacrifice. Noble Team eventually met up with Dr. Catherine Halsey, the same person who turned George into a Spartan. Halsey entrusted Noble Six with the AI Cortana. Halsey hoped Cortana could be a powerful resource that would aid the UNSC in defeating the Covenant. Noble Six was able to deliver Cortana to the UNSC ship, the Pillar of Autumn, before his own death. Reach ultimately fell to the Covenant, and all of Noble Team died with the exception of Noble Three, June. And that's where George's story ends. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe for more like this one. Check out my Halo playlist where I've covered the other members of Noble Team. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.